Hello children. How are you all? And today we are going to see our lesson 4. Samir's friend. Before seeing that, I would like to tell you a small story. So before our lesson starts, they have given a comprehension. So the story goes like this. It is Androcles and the lion. Androcles was a Roman slave. He is a man. He is a slave. Slave in sense. He has been under a master. He has to work for the master. Okay. So that master was very cruel. He was unkind. So what this Androcles did, he escaped from his oppressive master, unkind master. Okay. And started to run into the jungles. So there he saw an injured lion with a thorn stuck in his paw. Okay. Look it in the picture. So, in that cave, this uh, lion was stuck with a thorn in his paw. This kind of antacles plucked out the thorn and put the lion out of pain. So, they lived together until the master found antacles and took him back. They were together in that same cave. So later what happened? This master found him and took him back to his house. Since Antrocles have uh, fled out, what happened? This master gave him a punishment. Antrocles was thrown inside a ring to be eaten up by lions. Lots of people including uh, the master's relative were gathered to watch this. So the lion came. You know, know how the lion comes? Very furious. It was roaring like, whoa. Because he, the lion didn't have anything to eat. So, but instead of eating him up, it stopped and cursed the tentacles. It was the same lion that he had helped in the forest. Shocked at this. What happened? This master and the relatives know. Was shocked. Why this lion is licking him? The lion licked his hands to thank him. Then he was pardoned and the lion was set free. This is a Bedtime story when our Ajis used to tell us. Yes or no? This is the story which is given here. Androcles was a poor slave. One day he ran away from his cruel master. He did himself in a cave. There was a lion in the cave. He had a big thorn in his paw. It gave him a lot of pain. Androcles pulled the thorn out. The lion licked his hands to thank him. This is the short story, but I narrated the original story. Okay, there are a few questions. I'll just answer this. Where did Androcles hide himself? Where? In a cave. Very good. Why did the lion lick his hands? Because he... What Androcles did Androcles pulled the thorn out pulled the thorn out what could you do if someone had helped you what you will do very good you will say thank you very good shall we move on to the lesson so in this what model we have learned so we should be always gratitude we should be grateful to others when they rent their hands when when they help you what you should do you should say 
Thank you. You should be grateful for them. Okay. So, here is the lesson. Samir's friend. The school bell rang. All the children of class 4 were waiting eagerly for the lunch break. So, how we were in the classroom? It is like this. Now, we are going to back to our school. So, imagine this is our school. Okay. It happened in the classroom. Okay. This scenario is now in the our classroom. Okay. The school bell rang. All the children of class 4 were waiting eagerly for the lunch break like you people. Oh, 12.30. Oh, why this bell is not going ringing? Why this bell is ringing, uh, late now? So, everybody used to think, yes or no? So, like this, the children also were waiting eagerly for the lunch break. It was hot sunny day. It was a summer day. And they were very tired and hungry after their sports activities. So, when you are also back from the PT period, what you will do? You will start to breathe like this. Ma'am, shall I drink water, ma'am? Ma'am, shall I drink water? Everybody. The next period, what you will do? Everybody will ask for, ma'am, water, ma'am, water, ma'am. Yes, like this. So, they were also very exhausted. Okay. After washing their hands, they rushed to collect their lunch boxes. And then they went to the playground for lunch. So, Samir also, after the bell goes, Shamir, what Shamir did? Everybody, Shamir's classmates, everybody took their own lunch boxes and ran to the playground. They began to eat their food. Suddenly, Maya noticed Samir sitting alone in a corner. So, Maya, one girl, she is sitting alone. One girl, Maya. Her name is Maya. Person to notice that Sam is sitting alone in a corner. He was not eating his food. So, what she did? She went up to him and asked, What happened, Samir? What happened, Samir? You will ask, yes or no? When somebody is not eating the food, somebody is crying, what you will ask? God, hey, what happened, dear? Why are you crying? What happened? It's, it's nature, right? So, Maya also went to Samir and asked, What happened, Samir? Why are you not eating? Samir replied sadly, I forgot to bring my lunch box. I forgot to bring my lunch box. What happened? Samir forgot to bring his lunch box many times even we all also human beings we also forget things easily yes or no many times when i ask you where is your classwork you will tell ma'am i wrote it and but i forgot and left at home this is the answer so everybody will tell this yes like that samir also replied sadly i forgot to bring my lunch box Mama packed it in the morning, but I forgot to bring it to school. So, he is feeling very bad. Mommy already packed it, but I forgot to bring that. I left at home. Now, I have nothing to eat, but I am hungry. So, Samir is hungry and nothing to eat. Maya felt very bad for poor Samir. So, immediately what she did? She announced, she announced means she tell to every peop, everybody, she tell to people in a loud noise, okay. With that loud voice, she announced that, listen friends, Samir did not bring his lunchbox today, what shall we do? He is very hungry. So, she shouted like this. So, she said that, see, everybody is eating now. Shamir is sitting alone without food. He is very hungry. What happened? Shaifa was the first one to answer. Don't worry, Shamir can eat some of my food. So, one girl comes up. 
and telling, don't worry, Samir can eat my food. Soon what happened? Mohan joined her. He said, I will also share my food with Samir. So, then Ryan and Shreya shouted together, we will also share a lunch with Samir. So, one by one, one by one, all their friends shared food from their different box. So, now Samir got food to eat. Soon all the children came rushing to Samir with their lunch boxes. Everyone started to share their food with Samir. So, Samir had lot of food with him now. He was so pleased with his dear friends. He had tears in his eyes. Sometimes, even for us, when, when we are in a very crucial time, see like uh, when, when we desperately need something, when somebody comes and gives us generously, how do we feel? Tears pop up in our eyes. Yes or no? Sometimes we want to cry, but we won't cry. Like that, this boy, Samir also had tears in his eyes. He did not know how to thank them. He only said, I wish everyone had friends like you. Thank you, my dear friends. So that's how Samir thanks everyone. See, sometimes in our school, at home, people are there hmm, who is knowingly or unknowingly helping us. So, children remember them always. See, when people um, see in our home, our maids are there. In few houses, they have maids. Thank them because they are coming to your home and helping you. Okay, thank them. Thank your father. Thank your mother. Thank your brothers and sisters at home for helping you. At school, you can thank the teachers. Okay. Thank your friends. Whenever you are in need, they help. Yes or no? So, don't forget to thank anyone. This is very, very important. Okay. So, that's why I told you previously in this, the moral gratitude and Compassion are the signs of a noble soul. Never forget the person who helps us when we are in trouble. Never, never forget them. Okay. In your lifetime, you should remember till your last days. Okay. You should remember them. You should pray for them. If they need any help in return, you should help them. Okay. A person's good deed will definitely help him in an, any critical situation that he endeavor. Okay. So, what we have studied today? So, in a school, there was a boy named Samir. He forgot to bring his lunch box. So, Maya noticed that and she announced to her, friends that Samir did not bring his lunch box. So, what others did? Soon, all the children came rushing to Samir with their lunch box. And Samir had lot of food with him and he was so pleased with his friends. Okay, and he thanked everybody for sharing their food. Yes or no? Okay. Hard words, eagerly, corridor, announced, pleased, hungry, children, happened, corner, noticed. See children, write these hard words five times and now for the homework, see here. 
just write this which is first and which sentences comes next number this events in a correct order as they occur in the story okay i just read the sentence maya felt very bad for poor samir it was the time for lunch all the children shared their food with samir samir had forgotten to bring his lunch so which one came first it was the time for lunch that is first one second samir had forgotten to bring his lunch and third is maya felt very bad for poor samir and the last one is all the children shared their food with samir okay children we'll meet you in the next class thank you